Hey there, it's Jason from Codemanship uh, with a bit of a rant for today's video diary about the status of software developers, um, both in, in society, um, but more worryingly in our, own, in our own industry, in our own profession. Um, so I'm, I've been a software developer for the best part of three decades. Um, and I've worked in all sorts of different places. Um, and I'm under no illusions that in wider society, we are seen, albeit a well-paid profession, quite a low status profession. We are trade, we are working class, we are manual labor. Um, I'm privately educated, so I've kind of um, brushed shoulders a little bit with, with the English class system, um, having gone to a private school on a, on a scholarship. So um, in one way, very, very lucky. Um, but on the occasions that I've tried to engage with my old school on the, on the subject of computing in schools, on the subject of the soft, getting kids interested maybe in careers in software development, zero response, zero engagement. They're not interested. Banking, absolutely. PR, definitely. Politics, oh, for sure. Sport, uh, music, entertainment. Um, but software development, no. Uh, no interest in that because it's, it's, it's a practical hands-on thing. And um, England, unfortunately, is a country that tends to put people in positions of leadership who have no practical experience and no practical skills. They come from um, non-vocational background, shall we say, history graduates and so on and so forth. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that our society is rather dominated by them. Um, and people who make stuff and do stuff, are we're seen as the hired help. And I'm, I'm under no illusions about that. That's fine in wider society. It would be nice to occasionally get to invited, invited to something. Um, but it doesn't really bother me that much. What does bother me a lot more um, is the status of software developers within tech itself. Uh, and maybe I'm just noticing this more and more, or maybe it's been getting worse and worse, but ours is an industry that is dominated by people from non-technical backgrounds. More often than not, developers find themselves reporting to people who've never been developers and don't understand software development. And people from business backgrounds, from management, project management, that kind of thing. Um, and it does rather feel like, particularly these days, that we're, we're not invited to our own party. Uh, quite literally, sometimes. I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, I was following a hashtag on Twitter a couple of years ago for some kind of government-sponsored uh, UK tech event. And um, I couldn't help noticing that none of the tweets were coming from software developers. And I, I, I asked, using the hashtag, are there any software developers at this event? And a PR person sort of jumped, leapt on me and said, well, why would we invite software developers? So politicians, again, politicians, sure. Managers and bosses, sure. Media people, absolutely. People who actually make the technology and design it and et cetera, et cetera, no. Don't want them there. What, what have they got to do with it? Um, a, a friend of mine once was leading a team for a law firm, building an application for them. Um, and as is often the case, he had to kind of fight the management all the way to get anything delivered. Um, you know, what they built was built in spite of the management. Um, and it won an industry award. And the first that he and his team heard about it um, was when um, the management turned up that morning um, in evening wear. And he innocently asked, well, why are you all wearing, you know, what, what's with the, um, the penguin suits? And um, he was informed that they'd won an award and the developers were not invited. Um, at which point they walked out. They went, away, they went to a nearby coffee shop and said, well, we're not very happy about this, are we? Uh, I sometimes think that as, as developers, we should be a bit more militant sometimes when we're not getting noticed and when we're not being appreciated. But generally, we're not. That, that's not just something that happened to one team. I've seen that happen time and time and time again. Um, that the people who actually create the technology, the people who design it and the people who build it and the people who test it, are generally looked down upon. Um, by the people who manage them and by the people who pay for it. Um, and quite often they can't wait to get rid of us. As soon as it's delivered, they'd like the team to go. Um, and very often they will also take the credit, despite the fact um, that, that most 
uh, organizations often would make delivering software harder for the developers, that more would have got done. It would have been better if they hadn't been managed at all in some cases. Um, but those people um, tend to see themselves as, as the doyens, the, 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 the big wigs, the big cheeses of our industry. So it's no surprise that when you go to these events, awards ceremonies and so on and so forth, that we don't get invited. We get, we get beer and skitt skittles, basically. They get champagne and evening wear um, and, and nice shiny awards, and we get beer and skittles, quite literally sometimes. Um, they often think that we can be, we can be bought off with, with, with pizza and a fridge full of beer. And, and quite frankly, sometimes we can. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but there is that perception, because we're low status, you try, try inviting a, a, a bunch of lawyers to a, um, an event and then serve them pizza and beer um, and see how you get on. So there is an expectation, and I've, I've sick, particularly in the way that management and business people and salespeople treat us, the number of times I've been um, wined and dined by recruitment consultants, for example, where they've, to thank me, for example, for introducing to someone that's going to earn them tens of thousands of pounds over the course of a contract, um, to thank me, they take me out for, you know, a burger at a local pub. And I'm like, well, hmm, would you settle for a burger? You know? Um, and that's kind of how we're viewed, I think. Um, and quite often we don't notice it. Um, many of us are, are perfectly happy with the, your proverbial beer and pizza. We don't particularly want um, the, um, the highfalutin high life. Um, but it would be nice to be appreciated. It would be nice to see the people who actually create the technology recognise as the people who are, who are making it happen. Um, yes, we need finance. Yes, we need marketing. Yes, we need sales. We need all of these things. But if there's no technology, then what are they marketing? What are they financing? What are they selling? Um, so we, we definitely have a, we should have a prominent place within our own industry. We should be invited to the party. Now, I don't know, what do you feel? Um, if you've got strong views on this, either way, or, or, or you want to add something to the conversation, maybe post something in the comments below. Have you experienced this firsthand? Um, have, have you been made aware of the fact that, that people are viewing you as low status or not important or expendable or super, you know, superfluous to requirements? Have you had a manager or a boss take credit for your work, despite the fact that um, if they'd got their way, maybe it wouldn't have even gotten done? Um, let us know. I'd be very interested to hear.